Start your day light. Start it right. Start it with Breakfast with Bread. Breakfast with Bread, a bite of motivations and words of encouragement to jumpstart your day. Breakfast with Bread. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of uh, Breakfast with Bread. My name is Michael Cross. I'm your host for this program. In uh, this week's broadcast, we will be visiting Australia. Ayan, makikibalita po tayo sa Australia. As COVID-19 spread in Australia and people were getting more anxious, isa nga po sa nag-trending na video sa Australia was the toilet paper frenzy in the supermarkets. Nagpanic buying po sila. Some people were, were filmed fighting in the aisles and uh, on more than one occasion, police had to be called in. Others just took the uh, opportunity na kumuha na lang ng kumuha. No? Hindi na inisip na baka merong pang iba na hindi naman nakakuha. Basta naghakot system na lang sila. Ayan po yung nangyari. Nagpanic buying po sila nung nung uh, dumapo ang COVID-19 dito sa Australia. It could be that fear of the virus and the behavioral responses to that fear, you know, like fighting in the shops and hoarding groceries, are worse than the effects of the virus itself for most people. Sabi nga po nung isang senior citizen na na-interview sa isang uh, uh, TV uh, news program dun sa Australia, mas nag-aalala siya na baka masaktan siya or uh, mapilayan, ma-injure siya looking for toilet paper in the supermarket kaysa sa matapuan siya ng virus. Diba? Ganun po kalala yung naging problema nung uh, pagdapo po ng COVID-19 sa Australia. We all have uh, different life experiences kasi and uh, this produces different responses sa atin. Some people will be anxious about how the virus will affect them. Malamang meron silang pre-existing medical condition which makes them more susceptible to the effects of the virus. 
Uh, tulad nga po dito sa France, pinag-iingat nga po yung mga may diabetes, mga may hypertension, mga may uh, problema sa puso. Ganun po. Uh, problema sa kidney. You have a pre-existing condition, mag-iingat, doble ingat po ang pinag, pinag, uh, pinagagawa sa mga ganong klasing tao dito sa France. Or perhaps, these people are emotionally exhausted from battling drought for the past few years. Walang kita, walang income, and are wearied by the struggles to survive. Diba? I'm, I'm, I'm barely making it. I'm barely making ends meet. Tapos eto, I'm barely surviving na nga. Tapos eto, may virus na darating. Wow, heavy got pare. <laughs> diba? Or maybe they were affected by the bushfire crisis noong February 2020, which uh, destroyed a lot of properties, maraming bahay ang nasunog, maraming tao ang uh, nawala ng tahanan, they had to relocate, or yung iba nakatira sa mga shelters. Tapos eto na naman, COVID-19. Or the floods that happened also in Australia. Diba? We are... Uh, Emotionally attached to things around us, our family, our friends, our possessions, our jobs. And when events impact them, we are affected too. We cannot escape the fact that uh, we live in a broken world. A world which is unpredictable and we can't control what happens to us. Now, Australia alone was still in recovery mode. You know, from the bushfire crisis, tapos yung mga sakuna na nangyari in the past, floods, ganyan, no? Patong-patong na problema, no? Parang sa pelikula, may pelikulang ganun, eh, no? Kasusolbo lang na isang problema, eto na naman, another problem happens. Diba? Parang, wow, it's like a movie uh, unfolding right in front of your eyes and yet you're stuck right in the middle of it. Diba? Ayan, dumating ang problem A sa buhay mo, And you barely survive problem A. You, you, you're, you're solving problem A now. Nagre-recover ka pa lang from problem A. Eto na naman, problem B dumating. And now, nagre-recover ka from problem A. You have to face problem B. And in worst cases, while recovering from problem A, and while you're fighting problem B, eto, another problem comes. Problem C, then problem D, problem E. Patong-patong na problema po. Yan po ang nangyari sa karamihan sa atin. Hindi lamang po sa Australia. Pilipinas, France, China, USA, Canada, England, Spain, Italy. Patong-patong na problema. Surviving from one crisis, eto na naman. Another crisis. And the biggest blow, COVID-19. Di ba? So when we are uh, feeling anxious, fearful, or panicky, how can we overcome These reactions to experience the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. How can God's voice become louder than our anxieties? How can we rest on the promises of God's presence and help? Marahil yun na po ang tinatanong natin. Papano? Papano ako magtitiwala sa Diyos? Diba? As much as we are able, friends, Let us take our eyes off ourselves, off our fears, and off our problems, and fix our eyes firmly on our Heavenly Father. Fix our eyes firmly on Jesus. Remember when Peter asked Jesus, Lord, wow, you're walking on water. I want to walk on water too. O di alika, come. While Peter had his eyes fixed on Jesus and not on the waves around him. He was walking on water. Diba? He was walking on water. The minute his focus was reverted from Jesus to the waves, na wow, laki ng tubig, wow, wow, wow. The minute that happened, he started to drown. He started to sink. Diba? He started to sink. Fix our eyes on our Heavenly Father. Fix our eyes on Jesus. And do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, present your request to God. In every, in every, in every situation, 
good situation, bad situation, happy situation, lonely situation, in every situation. Hindi po sinabing in just good times, in just good situation, or in just bad situation, in, in every situation. By prayer and petition, present your request to God. That's in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. And ang sagot po ng Diyos sa iyo, I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but this message is for you. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Let's say that again. The Lord says to you today, kahit gaano ka, ka, kataas yung mga waves sa paligid mo, surviving from one problem after the other, focus, fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on our Heavenly Father. And He says to you today, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Ang tanong nga po, how far are you willing to trust this promise? Healing rain
I hear you won the chance to have God answer any question you ask. Yes, I did. What are you going to ask? Why do your shoestrings only break when you're in a hurry? You know how that is. You're late for an interview. And... Wait, wait. That's it? Yeah. You can ask God anything. Why don't you ask him something profound, like what's the meaning of life? Oh, I thought about that, but that was answered through King Solomon in the Bible. Oh, well then how about why do bad things happen to good people? The book of Job answers that. I wanted to ask something the Bible doesn't address. What about what does God want you to do? The book of John, chapter 6. I tell you, with all the answers the Bible has, reading it is like having God right there in your living room. The thing I didn't see addressed was shoestrings. Oh, okay. By the way, stressful situations cause you to use excessive force. Thus, you break your shoestrings. Fine. Now I have to come up with another question. Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. Hey. You've just listened to Breakfast with Bread no, 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 no. on Cool 97.5, the only Christian FM station in Baguio City.